Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. So the past couple of weeks, I've gotten asked a couple of times, not a lot, but how do I stand out with a resume when everybody has the same certifications and I have no experience? And I've actually been thinking about what you can do to help boost a portfolio. And one of those things is tool builds. And so I've built a couple of tools previously on this channel and maybe you've watched those. And so those tools will look really good on a resume as well as modifying your own tools. And so I wanna show you how to like get started building your own automated recon in this video. And you can change it to fit however you want and you can put your own tools and scripts within this one tool that we're about to build. And it's really, really simple. This is a really easy tool to build. It's really easy to make an auto recon tool. And if you're new to the world of Python, I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description, my introduction to Python. It'll get you started with everything you need to know. This tool is really simple. It will be very easy for you to build and to understand what's going on after just watching that one hour long video and practice what I show in the video. So this tool we're gonna to be building in this video is gonna be really simple and we're not gonna build it to a full completion. I'm just gonna show you how to make a script that's gonna automatically go out and take an input and then run the IP address against a couple of already developed tools that are really common for enumeration. I decided to keep this video really short because I don't know if this is something that you guys are interested in. If you guys are interested in me kind of walking you through building some tools, automating some exploits, and maybe building your own web application that's vulnerable to different exploits, please let me know down in the comments before I spend a bunch of time working on these. So for that reason, I have kept this video really short and just gave you a really easy introduction that you can start to build on at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So typically whenever we build something in a Python, I always recommend everybody use a PyCharm, but we're not gonna be able to use a PyCharm because I couldn't get one of the modules to install. So we're gonna build it out of our terminal and maybe you can play around with the warnings and get PyCharm to install the module for you. And we're gonna use gedit and we're gonna go ahead and gedit and call it ctf.py. And the tool that I'm going to be building is gonna be one that I would use for automating recon for a CTF. So very simply, the first thing we need to do anytime we wanna automate anything on our Linux machine is we want to import OS. This is gonna, OS like that. This is going to make it so our Kali machine can run commands from the terminal for us. And so right off the bat, we're gonna need an input of an IP address. So we can just say input, and then we want to please enter an IP address, or we could just put a target like this. And then we wanna make sure we have this space right here. So when we enter our IP address, it looks nice and it's not all smashed together. And now we're gonna to wanna to save this in a variable and we'll just call the variable IP and save it like this. So now if we save this and we run our ctf.py and we come down here and we want to print our IP, then it should just print our IP for us. So now if we run Python 3 ctf.py, we'll enter random IP address and hit enter and it prints it out for us. So we know that everything is working to this point. So now we're gonna come back in here and we want our OS to do something. So now we're gonna say OS dot system, which is the, the method that's gonna tell our operating system to do something. And we're gonna want it to be an F string so that way we can run our IP address through here and we can just run a simple in-map scan and I'm only gonna run it with one port and we'll just run it on port 80 so that way it doesn't take a super long time to run the in-map scan. And then the IP address, which I actually am not gonna put in right there, we're gonna say the IP address is gonna be our input IP address and we want it to be verbose and we want it to output the information into inmap.txt. And I think we can use an O, I think we can use the flag with an O right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this because some of the tools we're gonna to use later are actually going to work for us if we have the dash O flag. So this is what we're gonna use. So we'll go ahead and save this and run this and see what happens. Our target IP address, I have the box streamed IO running, which this is the IP address for that, and it should go ahead and run for us. And if we ls, we can see we have our inmap scan. So we can cat our inmap.txt, and here is our inmap scan. S saved to an out file for us. Now we want to continue editing our file. 
So let's say in the in-map scan, we wanted it to go out and see if there's any SMB shares. So we can say OS, OS dot system, and then we're gonna run the same thing we did before with the F string, and we'll just say SMB client, and we want it to run with a null authentication. I don't actually remember what this N stands for. We're gonna roll with, I think it's no password, but same difference with the dash L. So that way it will list all of the shares. Oh, we want it to run the IP address. So this should save for us. And we'll save this as SMB client.txt. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll run our script again and see what happens. 10, 10, 11, 1, 58. And we'll let this run. I see that we spelled this wrong right here. So it's SBM like that. And it says that we have access denied. So one of the things we can do right off is fix our typo right here, SMB. So now we can pretty much do this exact same thing. We can just copy this. And let's say we wanted to run and SMB map runs with the H but also SMB map sometimes makes you hit enter on a password. So now we're going to need to make our system actually do something, which means we need to import another module. And we're going to say it from pi, I think it's input just like this, dot keyboard, import key, and the method controller. And now in order for this to run, we're gonna to have to install this right here. So you can just come down, we'll save this, come down to your desktop where you have this saved and you can install this by typing in pip, install py input, just like this. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to worry about it, but now we need this to actually do something. So now that we've imported this, we need to say keyboard equals the controller method. And now we want it to hit enter after running this just in case it prompts us for a password and we're gonna send it with no password. And so to show you how I would run something like this if I didn't know what I was doing, I would just copy this or I would just go out to Google and I would just Google something like I need to input keys and we'll check out the documentation. And one of the things I like to do in checking out the documentation is just to see how it works. So it tells us right here with a keyboard, we want it to press and then release the key. So we can actually just copy this, come back over to our file. We can paste it in. We want that to all be even and we want the key to press and we need it outside these quotes because if you come in here and look like we wanted to press this, the space bar, we'll need it to look like this and copy. And if we wanted to see what the enter command is, you can just hit command find and it'll tell us the enter or the return key is gonna be just enter. So we can come back over here. This is why I always tell people to read the documentation. So it'll look like that. And now it'll hit the return key if we need it to, if, it, if the script gets prompted for a password. So we can save this, come back over here, run our script, enter in the IP address of our target machine, and we'll let this run for a second. And it actually didn't get prompted, so it hit enter and entered out a blank space right here, but that's okay. We'll just leave it just in case a future machine prompted, because this one, if we cat out the SMB map, you're gonna see that it gets an authentication error because it doesn't have, it, I think these ports are actually open, but it doesn't allow us to even enter a password. But if you were on a different machine, it would prompt you for a password and you would need that enter to be there. So that is a simple little recon tool that you could build and add to and then add to your resume or your portfolio and should help you stand out a little bit more than anyone else who just has basic certifications with no experience. If you would like more of these videos trying to help you build a portfolio or more advanced tools, please let me know down in the comments and we'll try to get to those in the future. Thanks for watching.